This is a short video to try and encourage anyone out there to offer me suggestions as to what we should be employing our 3D printer for. Um, this is a bit of kit that we bought a couple of months ago um, and I think it could be invaluable in uh, creating items that make life better in these old Volvos. Let me give you an idea of what we've already done. Um, behind here, all these instruments are mounted on um, a 3D printed base plate to make it easy to mount. This cup here is for my curter. If you've never seen a curter, they're very beautiful. Um, uh, C-U-R-T-A is how you spell it. And um, have a look at that on the internet, but that holds my curter. And I'll show you a few other things that we have done and are proposing doing. Basically what I need is some suggestions from you that will justify me buying a handheld laser scanner um, which will then enable me to make parts for instance like the early Volvo 140 indicator base um, which is very difficult item to create in CAD but actually trivial easy if you scanned it in using lasers. Um, let's have a look at a few of the other things that uh, I propose to do, have done, and then hand it over to anyone out there to suggest to me what else we could do um, that would make life easier or indeed replace original items. Let's go and have a look. So, on the late Amazons, they had the little plastic knurled knob uh, to secure the cordial light catch. Um, that I've got high on my list to recreate those because uh, several people have reported to me that they're missing on their cars. So that's a possible. This of course um, is already on another video and is in our web shop. It's a simple cup that secures the inner wing and holds the SU dash oil. This is Dix playing with yet another box. Okay, so over here we have the lovely bit of tech that is a Prusser um, from Poland. Uh, so this is our 3D printer. To give you an idea of what size we're talking about, I've got quite large hands. It's basically a hand span by hand span by hand span is what we can create. Uh, that must be about, is that 180 mil, maybe 200? Um, so that's the machine. Now, back in the PV544, I showed you a cup for my curter. And just to explain now, this is a curter that I use when we're out competing. Designed during the war, it is a mechanical computer and allows me on the fly to calculate. Uh, speed, time and distance, which is what uh, historic road rallying is all about. Um, and you can see another application for a 3D printer. This little bit of yellow locks off the indexes that I don't actually use. So that prevents those from being moved. So that's my curter. And this is a slightly different cup holder for it, so that's what it does. Uh, this one is designed to fit on a two inch diameter roll cage with a pair of zip ties there and there. Um, so that's another bit of 3D printing. Now finally is this item. Now I don't really want to hear suggestions about non-Volvo applications. Uh, however, this is quite natty. This is uh, produced for my daughter Amy in her MX-5, uh, part of the weight, weight loss of uh, getting its weight down amongst uh, deleting the power steering and the air con was deleting the hi-fi out of it. So hence you've got, that leaves you with a hi-fi size gap in the dash. This is a nice little holder that simply slots into the dash 
to put her pencils, eraser and pencil sharpener um, in when she's competing in that car. Um, it's got a nice roll edge on the inside here so if your pencil's in there you can just roll it up here it doesn't get caught underneath the ledge here and it's beveled at the rear once again to stop things getting trapped at the back here and being difficult to get at you can get your fingertips on it nicely so that's it um, I invite you if uh, you have a mind to suggest to me what I should be producing on our 3d printer um, that would help the Volvo community and if somebody comes up with some great ideas that justify me buying a handheld 3D scanner, which costs mm, more than this cost, uh, they're about £800 now, um, then I will justify it. But at the moment, I can't really afford to spend £800 on a 3D scanner when I'm only producing one item a month or so. Um, okay, uh, if you're excited by the idea that we could produce stuff using this machine, then um, please give me some ideas and I'll, I'll get to it and make them. Thank you very much. And the dogs are sleepy because they've just had a walk. <laughs> the dogs are very sleepy, yes. Bye-bye. Okay, let's look at some of the suggestions that have come in in just the last 24 hours. Um, here's a really good one. Uh, this here is a steering column from the Amazon. And later ones had a cancelling collar made of plastic. Earlier had metal ones, but the plastic one will directly replace it. This I get asked for every so often because people somehow seem to miss it off when they fit an aftermarket steering wheel and then the whole steering becomes rattly and sloppy. Um, so there's a good one, the cancelling collar on the steering column. Next we had a good one, this is a heater fan from the Amazon and P1800. Um, it's the later style one that's flush and we had a request to have to make these such that they had a nice workable grub screw to secure it, um, whereas they often get destroyed when removing. So that's very possible actually. I think this could well work uh, very well. So heater fan, that's a suggestion. Okay, um, here, now some of these we can get, but sun visor clips was the uh, other request. Um, some of them we can get, um, some of them we can't. And I think we can indeed source a filament for the 3D printer that is resilient um, with some give in it. Uh, so yeah, that's a really nice idea. I can't believe that's gonna be particularly difficult. So yeah, sun visor clips. This was an interesting idea from one customer to create the late Amazon boot lid handle. Um, that, of course, would purely be from a weight consideration, since uh, we can still get these at the moment. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, that's an interesting one. I quite like that idea. And here's two, actually. So somebody suggested making these hooks that go in the Amazon. And to me, also, these trims are all very brittle now and often broken off and missing in many cars, um, that I'm sure we should be able to create uh, such that they'll just slip on over. So, um, so that's another nice one, and, and I'm sure we could get that finish as well. Colour might be slightly harder, but we could do it in pure white, I guess, which is probably what it was when it was to begin with. So, uh, those are the suggestions so far. Really good. Um, now we've just got to save up our pennies, I think, and buy ourselves a scanner. <laughs>